Hi everyone, welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC to improve your performance and get better FPS in a quiet place. So make sure to stick around till the end. I'm going to be covering all the best settings for your PC and the game. So with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and once you're over here go down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage and disabling so will help you to get rid of them. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background. This also includes the applications and the services which are no longer in use and this will help you to improve your FPS. Right beneath that you'll find graphic settings, click on that and then head over to change default graphic settings. Over here you'll find hardware, accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Enable both of them to utilize your GPU to render the game as well as reduce your input latency and render latency. Go back to graphics and over here click on the browse button and now go to the install location of your game. Once you are here, go down to a quiet place folder, then binaries, win64 and then select the win64 shipping.exe. Click on add, head over to options, click on high performance and then click on save and this will utilize your GPU to render the game. Once that is done, close your settings. Step number two is compatibility settings and for that open steam on your PC, right click on your game, head over to properties and then click on browse local files. Over here, go over to a quiet place, binaries, win64 and then select the win64 shipping.exe. Right click on that, head over to properties, compatibility, and then select disable full screen optimizations. Then click on change high DPI settings, click on override high DPI scaling behavior, click on OK, and then click on apply. Once that is done, close your settings. Next step is creating a restore point, and for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Over here, look for your local disk C. Click on create and name it a quiet place just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Okay, before moving ahead, I want to tell you guys about Ezus Voice Wave, which is a super amazing voice changer powered with AI, offering over 300 voices and a completely customizable environment, which you can download from the link in the description below. You can not only use it real time, but you can also use it to change voices in pre-recorded audios and videos. And here is how my voice sounds like in this application. And it is super amazing. So go check out Ezus Voice Wave from the link in the description below. Next step is a quiet place FPS like I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can simply join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial or a direct download link. Over here you'll find in five simple folders. First one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click it on the AMD CPU priority and this will set up the correct SFIO priority and CPU priority for your PC. Second one is RAM optimized in which I have left the same things but it will optimize your RAM. I have left a ton of presets according to you. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to run this registry. It could be different for you and once again if that doesn't work out well for you you can always reset it back to default. Next is a quiet place priority in which I have left above normal and high priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. Next is the unwanted services and over here I have left a ton of services on your PC which are completely useless. Once again if you use any Bluetooth devices or a printer device I recommend you guys not to disable bluetooth services or printer services but other than that i would highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of them once again if you want to revert any of them back to normal use the revert registries folder to do so last is the useful programs in which i have left clean temporary files dot batch you can right click on this as administrator this software will simply ask you to press any key to continue simply press any button on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files from your pc it's always good to clean them every now and then next is the msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run this as administrator in this application look for your graphic card and then click on the msi button in front of it for the interrupt priority set this thing to high and then click on apply this will set the correct sfio priority for your gpu and also improve your gpu interrupt priority so you can expect better performance from your graphic card once you're done with that, simply close your FPS pack. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here click on custom. Click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of these settings will help you to deanimate your windows and optimize your PC's performance by a little bit. Next step is correctly setting up your virtual memory and for that head over to the advanced tab and then click on change. Deselect automatically manage paging file size and for the initial size set this thing to 1361. Open up calculator on your PC and multiply your RAM that is 32GB for me 
with 1024 to get your memory in megabytes. Divide this value by 2 and the new value should be pasted in the maximum size. After that click on set and click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. In case you run out of your RAM, this will utilize your ROM as your virtual RAM. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press Control, shift and escape all together and this will open up task manager on your PC. Go down to startup apps and right over here start disabling all of the unwanted applications that you do not want from the boot of your PC. This will help you to reduce your booting time and will also help you to reduce the number of services running in the background that may be causing FPS issues on your PC. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is disabling sysmain. And for that, simply search for services on your PC. And once you're over here, press S on your keyboard and then look for sysmain over here. Right click on that and then stop if this is already running on your PC. Then head over to properties and then for the startup type, set this thing to disabled. Click on apply and then click on OK. This will help you to improve your performance by reducing the RAM usage in the background. Next step is disabling background applications. And this will only be available for Windows Pro users. For that, simply search for local group policy editor. Once you're over here, head over to administration templates, windows components, app privacy and over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Simply double click to open this thing up and enable this policy by clicking on the enabled button. Then for the policy you have to set this thing to force deny and then click on apply. This will ensure that no applications are running in the background and this will also help you to improve the performance of your game. Once that is done, simply close it. After that head over to your game for the best in game settings. Okay once you're in your game press your escape key and then head over to options. Once you're here go down to video and then for the resolution choose your native resolution. Resolution. Screen mode should be full screen. Monitor should be a native monitor. FPS limit should not be set to unlimited. Over here, you have to cap it to your native monitor resolution. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, play it on 60 FPS. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, play it on 144. And if you have a 240 hertz monitor, play it on 240. VSync should be turned off. Upscaling mode. If you have an Nvidia graphic card, go with DLSS on quality. And if you have an AMD graphic card, you can go with FSR on balanced. You can also go with FSR quality as well. Both of them will help you to gain much better performance. For quality, the preset should be set to custom, where shadow quality should be set to low, texture and effect quality should be set to medium, post process, high quality reflection and anti aliasing should be set to off and low, ray tracing should be turned off, and graphics, all of them should be turned off. You can enable filmic green to add a story type effect because this won't affect your FPS a lot. And once you're done with that, you can now enjoy your game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We have also launched channel memberships. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting it because it really helps me grow the channel. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.